Football headlines homecoming. It is homecoming at Ohio University, and Bobcat football is back to take on Northern Illinois. I'm Russ Eisenstein, the voice of the Ohio Bobcats, and our game week preview is presented by the Athens County Convention and Visitors Bureau. The Bobcats trying to go 2-0 in league play under Frank Solich for the sixth time in his tenure, and Ohio trying to win the MAC home opener for the eighth time in 15 tries. You can build some MAC momentum here after the overtime win over Buffalo last week, 21-20. It was a narrow victory, but you need those close victories to be able to move on in the MAC. Last year, three of the four losses were by single digits, so this is a step in the right direction. Ohio's not penalized all that much, and they're converting on third downs. Tops in the MAC and top 20 in the, ca in the country in those categories. The Bobcats certainly remember last year and the loss at Northern on their homecoming 24-21. The Bobcats lost the last time that the Huskies were at Peden Stadium back in 2014. The opposition's in an unfamiliar position. The Huskies have had just three losing seasons in the 2000s. They've won four MAC titles in that time. They're the defending MAC champions after beating Buffalo 30 to 29 at Ford Field last year. Their last one and four start was back in 2016. That was also their last four game losing streak. After the title last year, Rod Carey swooped in on the Temple job. So former star running back Thomas Hammock is in his first season in DeKalb as their head coach. They won their opener over FCS top 25 ranked Illinois State. Then after that, the bear of their non-conference schedule hit. Losing at Nebraska, losing at Utah, and losing at Vanderbilt. Last week, they dropped a 17-3 halftime advantage and fell to Ball State 27-20. Cal transfer Ross Bowers is at quarterback 1,300 yards, four touchdowns, and four interceptions this year. Trey Harbison had 146 yards on the ground last week and two touchdowns against the Cardinals. And defensively, Antonio Jones Davis had a career high 17 tackles last week, an interception, a sack, and a tackle for loss. Hopefully, they bring their live mascots to Athens, two of the most handsome Huskies that you'll ever see. Mission and Mini Mission, his younger brother. Ah, very good boys indeed. Aren't they cute? Take a look at them on Twitter at NIU Mission. All right, our pregame show starts at 2.30 on the radio network with the 3.30 kick. It's also on ESPN+. Plus. That's our Game Week preview presented by the Athens County Convention and Visitors Bureau on the web at AthensOhio.com. It's the Cats and the Dogs on Saturday. For Zach Roberts, I'm Russ Eisenstein, and this is Bobcat TV.